Hello everyone, Grant Friend from Nutanix here in a 5 in 5 session where we look at topics on a Nutanix subject. Today I'll be looking at the one node and two node robo solutions. You're possibly aware of our core data center offering where we need three nodes to build our cluster and we can scale it out from there. Well, we also offer single node and two node solutions for those sites where demand isn't as great as a core data center. I'll be looking at some of the features of that, how resiliency is handled, and even how we can replicate back to the core data center. So come with me and let's look into this in more detail. Let's take a look at a Nutanix Robo solution in greater detail. Nutanix supports single node, two node, and three node configurations at Robo sites. A one node cluster, they're a perfect fit for those customers with low availability requirements, but still need management at multiple sites. They provide resiliency against loss of a hard drive while still offering that remote management capabilities. These are supported only with ESXi and HV as the hypervisor. Then if we move on to the two node solution, well, it provides greater resiliency by replicating the data between those two nodes and requires a witness only in failure scenarios to coordinate rebuilding data and automatic upgrades. These again support ESXi and HV as the hypervisor. And then finally, really the core data center solution, which is still a great fit for robo sites, is that three node cluster, providing greater resiliency with the replication factor that's common within the core Nutanix platform, and therefore allowing a greater distribution of the data and further resiliency, as well as providing a, a lower recovery time for replicating back to the data center. Two node clusters, as the one node cluster, must use the same hypervisor, AHV and ESXi being the only supported hypervisors in single node and two node solutions. They require a witness VM. Snapshots for these one and two node solutions are greater than six hours. Can't do a replication time lower than that. And then supported on a number of different hardware platforms. So the NX, DX platforms, Turnkey solutions from Nutanix, the Dell XE, Lenovo HX, Fujitsu XF, and IBM Power turnkey solutions from those OEMs. And for customers who have Cisco, HPE, and Dell servers, they might want to repurpose for a robo solution. Well, as long as they're on the hardware and firmware compatibility list, they are supported for certain robo configurations as well. Looking at the witness in a little bit more detail, one witness will support multiple sites and multiple clusters. So there's no need to deploy multiple witnesses for every site that has a two node solution at it. There's no restrictions on the WAN bandwidth, latency or availability and the witness VM is only leveraged in a failure scenario. Let's take a look at how the witness VM handles the rebuilding of data in a two node cluster solution. We can see on the screen that the metadata for all rights is replicated a number of times across the cluster for resiliency and quorum, and data is replicated across the two nodes in the cluster for resiliency. In a split brain scenario where the nodes are separated due to a network failure, a leadership request is placed to the witness VM. That witness VM makes a decision as to who will now be the leader of that cluster. The service is then shut down on a node that failed the leadership contest and data is replicated on the leading node to ensure we have resiliency of the data on that node to prevent against any further disk failures on that particular node. If then the services is resumed and the split brain has uh, recovered, the services are started on the secondary node and then the metadata sync up occurs followed then by replication of data across the two nodes. Earlier I mentioned that the supported hypervisors of the single node and two node solutions are AHV and ESXi. This means Nutanix can support cross hypervisor replication and DR between clusters. At the core data center, VMware ESXi may be running as the hypervisor and at the remote sites, AHV could be running at your manufacturing plant, your retail site or your healthcare center. Using the protection domain features of the clusters, the VMs can be replicated between each of the clusters, ensuring there's resiliency between hypervisors and between sites, 
no matter what the requirements may be. If you want to know more about the single node and two node robo solutions, head on over to the support portal, expand out the menu, down to documentation, and select solutions documentation. There's a wealth of best practice guides and tech notes in here, but if I self for, search for robo, I've then got the robo deployment operations best practice guide, which details some of the requirements for robo solutions, as well as what that entails along three node and two node and one node clusters. It's available in a PDF and an EPUB format, which looks like this and something you can provide to your customers or prospects to help them with their choice around Nutanix for a robo solution. So a little bit more information as well. Again, on the support portal, expand out, come to downloads. If you scroll down, you've got the witness VM. And on there, there's our ability to download the files required for that witness VM as well as documentation on how to go ahead and deploy that witness VM into the environment that it's going to support. I hope you found that useful and informative and you know now a lot more about the single node and two node solutions, not just the Nutanix core data center solution.